about the story of the changing behavior of mosquitoes. Actually, I had a PhD student working on this. And uh, I the Saifu. Saifu ni kan apa PhD. Dia dapat PhD dan pernah nak balik dan mulai balik. So, we were studying, working around in Penang, and then we study the, the breeding place. Then we found something that Uh, we found that the mosquito <coughs> has changed a little bit. The indoor go outdoor, the outdoor go indoor. Which has a very great implication to transmission of dengue. Dengue, dengue, you could, uh, dengue is becoming a very important emerging disease to malaria. Because dengue attacks rich people in town. Rich people has a lot of voice, you know, they can complain a lot. Malaria, they don't care. It's poor man disease. You go in Kinabatanga and you die in Kinabatanga. You know? But malaria, all the MPs there, the, uh, the big, big boss, you know. So, uh, dengue. So, dengue has become, and dengue has killed a lot of people. Uh, I don't know malaria, but dengue has still killed 120. The whole, the whole nation. A substantial number, right? Like so, and then if you, you look at dengue now, it's a South Asian problem. And it's, uh, it's coming up and up. Uh, we have a lot of problems with studying. Why this dengue never go down? Did mosquito become resistant? So one of my PhD students, I'm co-supervisor in UIT, UITM Slango, trying to study uh, the dengue area and not the dengue area. Look at the mosquito behavior, resistant, you know, things like that. Are they breeding longer? Are they giving more eggs? Are they biting more? Two biological part, and then we see the register or that. That is in uh, another part. So dengue, kalau like this, very difficult to survive. I got DHF in 1997. I go coma, not coma lah. Like the conscious and conscious, conscious and conscious. You know, because my blood platelet was very low, and there is no medicine to cure dengue. Remember that. Uh, there are vaccine now, but the vaccine is not full proof. It's not, it's not, it's not ready. Lah. If you've got TB, tuberculosis, you eat uh, antibiotic six months, you should be okay. If you've got headache, you eat Panadol, you should be alright. If you've got uh, bisol boil, you've got this streptococcus, and then you eat antibiotic, okay. But dengue, no. Remember that. Dengue, no medicine. You recover by the doctor, you know, you put drip, some people say drink, uh, pump, you pump uh, papaya leaf and extract the juice and drink, something like that, you know, a lot of things. But there's no medicine yet discovered to, that, to help us from dengue and the, the vaccine is now being tried. But that's nothing for These are the two mosquitoes. Okay, there's one here and one here. Actually, Ecopictus, eh? they're, 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 they're round here and then they've got middle one. So this is Egypti, this is, uh, this is Apopictus, this one Apopictus, okay, this one. See, the tepi here yeah, is like a, a sickle. Yeah? Okay, and then Apopictus, one line in the middle. This, these are two dengue vectors in Malaysia. This, this is the best one. Egypti is supposed to be the good one. But don't, do not underrate Apopictus. So we now study the underrated species because it was not uh, studied. So we study the Egypta is worldwide famous. So Apopictus is ours, is native to us. Yeah? Okay, this is the life cycle. Roughly, you can you get eggs and then become lava, pupa, and then they get uh, adults and they become the, and the bite. They must they must have a blood meal to give eggs. And only the female mosquito suck blood. Remember that, not the man, huh? Female only, yeah. So female jahat, huh? The mosquito, in mosquito, not the female, in mosquito. So because they need the blood to form the eggs. During the taking of the blood meat, that's where they get new virus or transfer virus. That's where the implication of the mosquito role to pranayama into. 
Bila dia makan darah, bila dia suck the blood, they get If they suck from, say I got dengue, they mesti to eat Then they got dengue and then it goes into the cycle About they say 10 to 14 days uh, Something, oh no When they bite you with the mosquito, with the virus, bite you You will get dengue within 10 to 14 days 10 to 14 days, then you get the expression of the dengue Okay, so Remember, they need the blood to pump it at the same time to transmit the virus. Okay, these are what we found, you know, the uh, Egypti, okay, female transmit dengue virus, bite during the day, breed and around the house, lay eggs, you know, a lot of things. Now, kita, we found that one, another PhD student, kita, we survey, we found because we change our habit, we know, dalam bottle plastic, a lot of plastic. Kami, when I was a kid in 1965, I become form one 1965. You know, very old. I'm retired. <laughs> we don't know about plastic drink. We don't know about mineral water. We we know I buy and well and the well water. You know, that's all. We don't drink from mineral water. So with the introduction of plastic, what we did, but not in this identical, book, all 65 percent or six, and more than 65 percent of the breeding container are plastic. We have a lot of data on this. Okay? Okay, these are the virus, you know. Okay, you can see you can see your home so they can break here, they can break here in old tanky. If you go to holiday, you don't you don't flush your you have a flush toilet, you don't flush for a week, they become breeding. If the top of your tank is spoiled, you open it, they become breeding ground. So these are the things. Ni yang kita kena get with You buy a bit and put a bit. Before you go to holiday, put a bit in your tank. So that they do. Just a small packet, right? Bet you can use about one spoon, put in your toilet, you know. You, otherwise, you have to close the bowl. Uh, if not, become mosquito heaven. Uh, but you want to go holiday for one week or five days, okay? Uh, this is quite common. So, this other thing. Uh, there are forests from monkeys, so a lot of theory. Uh, a lot of questions we ask. There's, there's no mosquito. Where is the virus? Where do we got the virus? You kill all the mosquito. Where did they come from? So one theory is because Sylvian forest dengue. So the storage is if you learn in the, in veterinary or medical record zoonosis. Zoonosis is the mosquito the, the virus is being stored in monkey. So when the cycle break, the the, the forest reserve the virus in the monkey so when the mosquito new mosquito come back right there and bring it to town so this are all okay kata lah in the monkey kena you know, batangan got, got monkey there got virus sambil apis go there and sleep over one night and then the, the virus the mosquito with the virus they get bite apis and apis come back to kota kena you know, so it's spreading the monkey uh, the, the virus from forest to urban this how the cycle cycle urban 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 Sylvian. So these are the two theories that things and then we don't know again. The eggs now have capability of getting the virus from the mother. They call it trans ovaria. Say this is female mosquito with the virus in the body and then give eggs. That eggs already have dengue virus. No need fighting people. They call it and that egg has become larvae, become adult, already got virus in the body of the mosquito and by you transmit the virus. So that's another theory, very difficult to control this mosquito because of this uh, forest uh, monkey cycle go to town and forest again and then all this thing. And then another one, because I have uh, then Dr. Sazali from the UM, you know the virus also changed the DNA. A, C, G, C, T, T, all it. When the epidemic, that, that thing change, the sequence change, and then the, the virus become more virulent. That's what the virus people tell, tell me. And you don't study the mosquito yet. The mosquito also have changed. That's what I want PhD students now, working on the genotype. To see mosquito from the hot area, the non, the non hot area, dengue, the de non dengue area. Think of, we have to see, is it changing the genotype, what happened, you know, things like that. A lot of questions to be answered through this thing okay all these are very all these things are poorly understood now 
kita we still don't understand very well macam malaria we can understand it's from the foreign yeah foreign bite you know like doctor bacteria got person bite back you know which is unlucky very bad malaria got a recur kalau pasal orang dia tak dekat kalau bite back dia boleh nyurut they can still in your liver when you are no good they come out a bite back is very dangerous okay Okay, all that, I think, uh, you see, uh, this mosquito now has gone to America. Huh? Kita punya Argo Peters ni, our mosquito has gone to America, has gone to Mexico, has gone to Europe, has gone to Australia. Now it's widespread all over. Through higher business. Orang tak percaya, very difficult to believe. Huh? It's gone to America in 1986. There's one pastor student in Texas, no check the mosquito. Eh, this mosquito look like my mosquito in Thailand. <laughs> check, check, check. Abu Peters come from traded tire. You know, tire, tire, tire second hand. Okay, they they brought the tire from the eastern part here yeah, and sent it to America. But the tire has Eddie's egg. Because the mosquito lay eggs when it's rain, and then the rain dry, the egg can stay there four to six months. See, they can stand desiccation four to six months, and then they borrow this tire with the eggs, go to Texas. When the rain come, boom, you got it. Now Texas, Europe, US, I think more than many country, up to I don't know, up to Utah, Wyoming, some other. Huh? Then South Caribbean, Argentina, all these are popular cities, and then Europe, all are popular cities. Africa, are popular. So we are in business. Mosquito people in business. <laughs> I'm a mosquito people, but you are prone to get the disease. So you take the risk. I told my daughter, as long as the mosquito is around, I'm in business. You know? <laughs> I speak English, I can talk everywhere. You know, mosquito, I can tell story about mosquito, I'm in business. You know? So this other story, you know, all the people study mosquito a long, long time ago. The latest one, Runeg, Runeg, all this, all are this are literature, you know. This, These are all people that are studying a mosquito. McDonald, very famous, stay in IMR for a long time, Smith, Rooney, work a lot in Para, you know. So these are them. Then come our work in Penang. So I've got a few pages to learn, one, one, two, two pages to learn on the island. So I say, I look at the mosquito, and the pro we have a lot of this problem on dengue. Why don't you all this do work on dengue? One from Bangladesh, one from Russia. So they start to look at the round, and then, We try to divide uh, the east and the west. The east, west here, west, east, east. The side got a lot of uh, vegetation. Kalau you pergi Teluk Bahang, you go to Teluk Bahang, all those area, Durian area, all this one, those are the east. Balik pulau. Okay, this and this side all town area, airport, USM, Georgetown, and then this is the bridge. So we try to divide the area. We have to see. Uh, urban, suburban, rural, what are the mosquitoes, where are the breeding, something like that. The, 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 the breeding every day. You know, we have to study that. And then, uh, the student pakat-pakat, they change, okay, I take this part, I take this part. So, you study, so we, we study around here, Grugo, then Teluk Kepoyak at the end of the airport, and then the Balik Pulau area. So, we we study this, we do the survey, we do some preliminary survey, go around the house, No, you know Bangladeshi. One Bangladeshi student to go around the house, you know. So we have to bring one technician, you know, to, to accompany all the time. You know? <laughs> so they are foreigner. They studying, you know, not at people door. Can I check your container? Sometimes they are scolded. You know? I tell them, I don't want to know how you do it. I want you to do it. Pada pada lah juga. I give you the money, your transport. I give, but you do it whatever you have to do. You get money, get people help you. So. They managed to be this Bangladesh student get yeah, good PhD this year already, and then through the survey, we found that this this is um, unusual place, unsuncreable place. <laughs> you know, uh, the toilet, and then this pump here. You see this pump here. This is probably inside. This is the outside pump. This inside, and then we check. I don't know how the student. Open the thing. Hey doctor, we found that something new lah. Like, what's new? And this junction here, and it's Egyptian metro. 
Because the pump air intro naik desiccation eh? So we found this part here This is here, this part here yeah? Majority pure in this Egypt type Egypt type We, we, we see we, Then we try to check check Almost all Egypt type is there We check without fail, we found that You know, you know how difficult it is to Because this one you close it, you see This one you close You don't open that, this one because I want to show you to open it. So they go through the exit hole, yeah? And then they lay egg inside that. And then when they... Eh, and then touch the water. And then I think they, they, they hatch. Something like that. You know, so they refund. Oh, it's quite... Mostly hard juga lah. For us, you know, something we read. It's clever. Right? So we check and then we find, yeah. This one. And then... Some people keep bird in Penang. So we go around, you know, look at the bird cage, you know. Then, hey. There's some uh, water in the bed case, you know. Then kita, we found that Hypopictus. You see this bird here, bird here, and then this one. We found a lot of them all Hypopictus, not Egypt type. It is Hypopictus. See, in the toilet, you pang sign and come out, then you bite you. See, very easy you black me. <laughs> see, you remember that? Survival, and this one. Then the task, they go inside the house, or oh, people go in the house, they're smoking in the evening, you know, bam, you know, so all this black meal very easy. All this very important to transmission, very important, very important to transmission, implication to transmission of disease, you know. So this is what we found, so we publish this data, we say, uh, I don't know how they put the word, lah. so that they say this is in a later unsunkerable place, lah, yeah? especially in the toilet, they really. are very, you don't suspect that, uh, we suspect, uh, we suspect inside the sting, you know, but we, we found that, see, we suspect here, around there, eggs, but that is the thing, see, so this is through the inquisitive behavior of my PhD student, not my work, lah. see, where they went around and opened the tank, something like that, you know, some people don't like it, and some people don't want to go to the toilet, you know, so, these are the things you have to go through uh, when you do the research. And then we found all this in the... Uh, okay, don't worry about this. This is all the instead of uh, pictures here. Yeah. Okay, these are some of the things that uh, the place uh, you can see in, in any houses in Penang or in typical urban area. They have a lot of things. But I forget to tell you, you see this building? Uh, they have the rim now. So now we ask them to upside down the the pail. So when you upside down the pail, the rim there now, the mosquito lay eggs and breed now. See, they're very clever. So we found that majority of the upside down pail, the, the rim, lobang lobang around the rim, the holes, in with water, it got a lot of them. And I don't know, somewhere, tika geta, you know tika geta? A lot of people put the bag and put the tikka geta in a lot of sunken uh, plastic and eh? also a yeah, common place now. See, very very, so they, they have changed, you know, over years they have changed. <coughs> so we will publish this data, because compared to 10 years ago, you know, they have changed the okay? So we expected and breeding behavior of this to dengue, okay. So, what we do, okay, we know, we have seen all this, we try to study uh, what is the breeding indoor in in anticipation to the epidemiological trans uh, implication disease transmission? You know, if they breed indoor, they wake up, they bite the man, or they bite the man with the with the dengue, or they bite the man without the dengue, very near. So energy not wasted to travel around. See, these are the things. And then we study other things like survival. I think it's very easy for you to survive. Gonotropic, gonotropic activity. Mengando. In easy term is pregnancy. In mosquito, we call it gonotropic. From the blood meal until they give eggs. So that is called one gonotropic cycle. So that is in mosquito. Fecundity, you know how much or how many eggs they give. The more eggs, the better. See, we are, this, uh, we're going to see this. When the change in this behavior, apa jadi? What happened to these these properties, the biological properties? Are they changing? 
Are they changing him for the better? Why are they changing? Okay. So we did a last scale survey. I got two PhD students, one male, one female, one from Bangladesh, male, and the female from Malaysia. So divide them, okay, with this you, you agree, whatever you want to do, you do what topic, you do what topic. So we do the survey. So almost, so this one, the eastern side, uh, the western side, this eastern side, and then this is the hilly side. So we study the field between the urban, suburban, and in comparative to the uh, rural area or the hilly areas. Okay, we, we do a lot of things. We bring back home, we colonize them, we start raiding them, give them blood, and then study them. What are they the changing? And then we do the bio essay, okay. F, W, male, that means female wild type. F, D, 5, female wild type, means that we have put them in the lab for five generations from outdoor. We put them in the lab for five generations to study the biological parameter. We see what happens if they domesticated. Kalau dia dah berubah dalam, if they change their behavior to go in dog, what are they going to happen to the biological parameter? So we simulate by growing in our own lab from the wild type stock, you know, to one wild type stock. Okay, and then we do this, we, we give them blood uh, sometime, compare between this one, uh, the blood meal at 9, uh, 9 a.m. and, and limo 17 hours uh, on mice, whether they are changing the feeding pattern, and then we check the eggs, the position every two days, and then until how many what time or so we have to see the fecundity and so on. Uh, number two, we study the examine we examine the nocturnal biting uh, of Alice Epopitus. Yeah? Okay, and then we use the female wild type and then uh, and then also we try the, the same experiment we do with the uh Edis Egypti also. So Egypti and see we have to compare whether Egypti and Epopitus are they changing or something like that. I think we see the result better. And then, this is domestication, okay? That is the GC. To determine the effect of the time on the number of uh, uh, GC on our pictures. All this, we try the wild type and the domesticator. And then we all this, after, I think better we we'll see that the term. Okay. This is the same thing, don't worry about this. Okay, that time you see, don't worry. It's a bang agreement. Okay. This is... Uh, what we found from the breeding, ni nama tempat Sungai Burung, Sungai Pinang, Jalan Baru, Kampung Sanok. You know Kampung Sanok? Where the people semayang mereka ke the Pak Imam with saya or the lady, you know, something like that. Dulu cerita lah. The old time, the old time, Kampung Sanok. They are Sanok all the time. This is near the airport. The deviation of the principle. You know, they deviate from the principle of the Muslim. That's why the Kampung Seronok ada cerita. Those, those yang like my age, they know like Kampung Seronok. But the later generation, I think they're okay already. The last time is, when you get married, the Pak Imam got the first night for the lady. That is the whole story lah. Is it true or not true? I'm not sure. <laughs> because they get terpenik, they are not jadi ke situ. This is whole story, yeah. It's true or not true is not, and not evident. Story. Uh, just to Seronok, Seronok lah kan. Uh, that's why they call Kampung Seronok got. Eh? So all this, and you can see uh, the container, they have all the kind of uh, drum, bucket, cement, all this, uh, well, paint can and cement tank, all this, and then you can see all these are the, the number of time or whatever, see, you have abo pictures, abo pictures, and they have some mixed breeding. So, okay, Sungai Burung, Sungai Pinang, all this on the, on the hilly side, and then this is uh, Grugo, is near USM. On the urban side, so you can see urban side they have a big type. The rest we have a big And we, I have one study in the, the lady, majority rural area, hundred percent a big And the town side is a big type plus a big And many dengue come from uh, more more come from the town side. Okay, this is. Uh, uh, more mosquito living longer in homes. Okay, indoor or outdoor. We see the indoor has uh, more numbers in reproduction. Yeah? Reproduction period longer in indoor female. 
This increases lifespan, blood meal, uh, and results, and lead to more mosquito biting or increases disease transmission or spread. Okay, if they live indoor, orang semua di dalam rumah, more people live, uh, stay indoors, so the chance to transmit disease is better indoors. So maybe this is the problem. Our dengue cannot be solved. Maybe. So we are trying to look at the picture, you know. And then this is the biting period. This is the mosquito fed at 9 a.m. This is the mosquito fed at 5 p.m. 17 hours. So we can see two biting hours. And then uh, the, the one in the morning has a uh, high two peak, but this one has a, a smaller low, uh, earlier peak, you know. So they still have two peak, but this one has a low, low peak. Okay, gonotropic cycle. How many times giving eggs? Or oh, giving eggs from the blood sucking until egg given out. So we see the domesticated mosquito that we brought in the lab and try to grow them for five generations and test their cycle. They give more. I thought they produce more cycle. That means more pregnancy lah in simple term. They got better. Ah, they got better. They got more eggs. Because one, one cycle, one egg. Two cycle, two, two times a candy. You see? Makan. So we give them blood. Uh, already, they eat the, the mice. And then, tarik. And then, after they deliver eggs, give them the mosquito, uh, the, the mice again. Let them eat the blood, suck the blood, and take it out. So we see, this guy, the outside one has more urge to eat and to give uh, the eggs. The indoors, that the we domesticated. You see? So when they learn how to, when they become domesticated, they change their behavior. They will give a traffic cycle. This is very important to implication of disease transmission. Because in the real world, they need blood from human being. So they have to suck blood from human being, and then they lay eggs. One round. Second round, go and suck blood again, lay eggs again. So the more they do the process, which is happening in this group, in domesticated, so they are better transmitter of disease. Okay, that's the implication. That is the number of eggs, you see? The number of eggs, this one, they have more eggs, because they are sampai cyclima, the one, the, the, the female wild type, no more, no more, no more eggs. But <coughs> in the domesticated one, they can give until nine, and they give more eggs. So they are good egg maker and they are good biter and the gonotropic cycle. So they are superior in terms of transmission ability. So uh, the significant is uh, the bird species may function that the bird in the cage as a feeding resources for the proprietors and this has implication of population persistence. Uh, the presence of developing larva inside home and bird pest case can potentially increase the biting activity of emergent adults. Our pictures feed on bird must prefer human, but prefer human and as Egypti exhibit multiple feeding behavior. Jadi Egypti they have the other vector, they have, they have uh, uh, multiple feeding behavior and then the last one uh, this all all increase uh, increase contact human you know in bird all this uh, population density increase vector potential and so on so the risk is higher okay okay that's roughly what I want to tell you this is short form mosquito has changed.